Hello everybody, how are you doing today? My name is Ralitza and this is Readings with Rally. Thank you so much for choosing to tune into this video today. Um, I'm pretty excited to get into it, I'm not going to lie. Today's video is going to be about what would they do if they saw you out in public. So um, I personally had this situation happen to me a few nights ago, so I'm curious about this video. Of course, the only way to ensure a personal reading for you is to book a personal reading for you. These messages will just be general. Um, so if it doesn't resonate, please just let it fly. You might want to choose another video. Um, yeah, so we have three different piles to choose from today. The first is this protection salt from Pranic Forest. Second, we have Blockbuster Oil from Art of the Root. And number three, we have this Offering Incense from Earth and Alchemy. So most of these are Canadian companies, very, very well liked um, by me personally. So yeah, if you do need to pause the video here, Take a pause so you can pick your pile properly. And I'm going to go ahead here and get started with pile number one. Hi, pile number one. If you chose this protection salt, then this is your reading on what would this person do if they saw you out in public. So the fact that you feel like you needed to choose the protection salt does make me feel like perhaps you and this person have had a series of ups and downs. Perhaps you do feel like you're protecting yourself against this person. Let's just go ahead here and get right into it. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, please tap me into the collective here who chose pile number one, please. Um, what is going on here? What would their person of interest do if they saw them in public? What would this person do if they saw you in public? The sun, okay? Strong energy right off the bat. King of Cups. Six of Cups. Okay, three of Wands. The Hanged Man. Seven of Cups in reverse. Ace of Wands upright. And we have the Two of Swords. Let me just center myself a little bit more. There we go, okay. Pile one. You or this person could have strong um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, especially Pisces and Leo placements are coming through quite strongly here as well. So essentially what would, what would this person do if they saw you in public? Well, this person would 100% try to approach you, try to charm you, try to win you back is what I'm hearing. I do feel for, for many of you this was a romantic connection. I think this person had multiple options. We have the Seven of Cups in reverse. This person has really realized the error of their ways, especially if they did um, leave you for somebody else or put you in a third party situation. This person, when you see them out in public, will be all about show, okay? They're a showman or a showwoman. They're somebody who just likes a lot of attention. And so I feel like this person would try to approach you in their sparkliest, happiest, most um, joyful way to really try to win your affection back. I do feel for many of you, this person has been thinking about approaching you for quite some time. So this is something that would make this person remarkably happy if they saw you out in public because it's like they could finally do what they wanted to do this whole time. This person is still very much sexually interested in you, so they would definitely try to figure out a way um, to, to approach you. I feel for many of you with the Six of Cups, this person also has memories of you that they keep quite close to their heart. Um, this person, <laughs> the spirits just call this person um, an, a memory hoarder. So I don't know what that means. Like maybe this person has a lot of memories, but they don't really share them. I feel like this person has a very, very intense inner landscape, but they don't necessarily show that. I think that this person with the seven of cups in reverse could have just kept you as an option. But now that you've walked away, they're really realizing that they want access to you exclusively more than ever. I do feel like they would be a little bit tongue tied though, because they do see you um, as someone who's quite magnetic, attractive, beautiful, sexy, very creative. You have, you kind of, you guys pile one, you probably have a presence here that really commands a room is what I'm getting here. 
So this person would also be um, very much a little bit frightened, I think, to approach you, but it doesn't matter. They would still approach you because the energy here is just so intense. Let's get more. What would this person do if they saw them in public? What would this person do if they saw pile one in public? Mind focused over there, lusting over you. What did I say? This person is very, very sexually interested in you. Fighting this connection. I want you back. Uh-huh. 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 You can heal me. F your feelings. It's not love. We have spying through divination. Interesting. So for many of you, um, this person could have also been confused about what it is that you want. So perhaps this person has also been um, consulting astrologers, I'm hearing. I'm specifically hearing Vedic. Vedic astrologers, um, cards, tarot readers, practitioners to, to try to get more insight into you because this person is quite confused by you. So I kind of feel like this person would take their chance. They're focused on you quite a lot sexually, but I also feel like this person could have been a bit of an energy vampire, okay? They kind of saw your light um, and they decided to take it without really investing back into this connection. And it's like now that you, I feel for many of you, you've cut this person off. And because of that, you guys are really shining. You're glowing, you feel good, you look good because you've called your energy back. So when this person sees you in public, they're gonna be like, holy smokes, look at that person. They look amazing. They feel amazing. Look at how they're glowing. And this person is almost going to be drawn to you like a moth to a flame. For those of you wondering if this person genuinely did have feelings for you, they did, but they tried everything in their power to shove those feelings down. However, this person would still very much approach you in the first way that they approached you is kind of what I'm feeling. Like really trying to be charming. They could try to um, really, you know, display their body, touch you. This person feels like because you at some point did give them your energy that they can somehow manipulate you into giving energy back to them, which is ridiculous. I do feel like this person um, still has lots of sexual feelings for you. For some of you, this person could still be fantasizing about you quite actively. But this person was really resistant to you. And it's like now you guys are kind of in this I do not care about you energy. So I kind of feel this person will be very surprised at how... Um, detached you truly are from them because at some point you were very very attached to this person I feel for most of you in this pile you guys could be highly empathic um light workers spiritual leaders practitioners star seeds empaths and I think this person was just like fundamentally not on your level they still seem to be approaching you in a very 3d way like here's my body hi you know like very much like I'm gonna flirt with you look at me that kind of energy <sighs> I think this person um, has really been trying to distract themselves from you as well. So when they see you, it's almost going to be like something they just feel they have to, they have to um, explore like right away. They're going to feel very pulled towards you. What else? Strengthening bonds. Yeah, this person might bring up old memories. Like, do you remember when this happened between us? Do you remember when that happened between us? balance this person might try to present themselves as like your soulmate or something like this they're gonna try to pull you on your emotions okay because this is what this person does they get you in an emotional state daydreams and decisions lead challenging times solar plexus chakra sadness and isolation wow coming together so for many of you this person they kind of, it's like they'll be surprised at how um, defensive you guys actually are. I do feel many of you are very, very defensive towards this person. I feel like this person really let um, you down. And so that in, in and of itself is creating a divide. Because I don't think you trust this person anymore. This person could have also been insulting towards you really tried to bring you down to their level. They could have, um, sabot not sabotage, but I, I chose, I said sabotage, so maybe. Um, well, look down on your gifts, look down on your appearance, always trying to make you, make you feel like you're not good enough for them, which is funny because really I'm seeing the shoe here is really on the other foot. 
this person since you know you guys were in separation um, has been feeling very sad lonely isolated confused this person has not been able to make any actionable steps in towards their life they're really viewing you as like a lucky charm this person would definitely try to like bring up a memory to get you to feel like attached to them I do feel like this person would approach you though, 100%. I feel like they would try their shot. They would try to figure out like, how can I get towards this person? <laughs> I'm hearing someone in this pile say good grief. So I kind of feel like you guys aren't really that interested. This person's end goal would be to come together with you, um, especially sexually. I feel for many of you, this person could have really um, courted you sexually. So the, the, like the connection physically could have been very, very good, but this person really didn't have very much to offer outside of that. Okay, let's get some more. Tell me more, please. How would Pile One's person approach them? Apple temptation will test you. Oh my gosh. Okay, purse, pay attention to your finances. Heart, love, deep affection and caring. Harp, great happiness. Ant, work, achievement, and success. Cat, a two-faced friend. Lobster, financial pinch. Flute, disappointment um, in a friend or a lover. Rabbits on the bottom of the deck here, you guys. Too much concern with sexual matters. So, yeah, this person, this person would definitely, definitely, definitely want to get you um, intimately involved with them, okay? So this person could have really been focused on a lot of material things when the two of you were together. For instance, this person could have had a lot of struggles with money, okay? Or they could have been very focused on like career, success, finances, like very 3D things. I'm also hearing for some of you, you didn't fit this person's mold of what they wanted in a partner. For instance, you didn't look the way that they wanted, you didn't act the way that they wanted, you didn't do the job that they wanted. Like this person's all about image, okay? Incredibly shallow. I just want to say to be very careful with this person because they feel a little flighty with their um, words. They could have Gemini placements here as well. There's something about them that doesn't feel authentic. And again, they're going to be very, very happy to um, see you, but I kind of feel like you guys will not be so happy. Like there's a lot of trepidation coming from your end. This person disappointed you very much. And I feel like primarily their focus will be to sleep with you because that's one of the ways that they can get get like some sort of control over you. This person has such deep feelings. I really do feel that, but I don't think this person would ever admit that. I have to be really honest with you. Again, I, I am sensing a high degree of manipulation, so please be careful with this person if you do ever see them out. Um, I kind of feel like you guys are really in your power, and I think this person knows that intuitively on some level, but they like want access to you because you made them feel good, is what I'm hearing. You made this person feel good. You could have really helped this person out, but this person never gave you the same energy. So that's what I have for you guys, pile one. Um, if that resonated, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you aren't already subscribed, it really helps my little channel grow. Um, to book a personal reading, that information is down below as well. I just wanted to say a big thank you, like so much to you guys for being here. I really do appreciate um, you supporting me and this, this little channel. Okay. Interesting, very interesting, okay. Hi, pal twos. If you chose this blockbuster oil, then this is your reading. So right away from the blockbuster oil, I do feel like perhaps some of you are actually um, excited about the prospect of running into this person. Maybe some of you want this connection to pick back up. So spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, please tap me into the collective here that chose pile number two. Please come forth and help deliver messages of clarity, accuracy, truth, and kindness so that we can make the best decisions for ourselves. Okay. So, Spirit, what would Pile 2's person do if they saw them? Wheel of Fortune, Death, Nine of Swords, wow, Strength. What would this person do? The Star, Page of Swords, The Fool, 
three of swords. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. We also have 10 of swords here on the bottom of the deck. So lots of betrayal here. Okay, so you or this person could have very, very heavy fire placements, okay? I'm getting um, Sagittarius, Leo as well. I'm also hearing Scorpio, Aquarius, and Aries. So those are the main signs. Again, if it doesn't resonate, let it fly. But there's a lot of um, fire here. It's the immediate feeling I was getting. A lot of passion, a lot of lust. Um, this could have been a very exciting or explosive type of connection. One of you here could actually be in the public eye. You could have a platform. Or this person views you as very out there, outgoing. You have the star quality to you that everybody wants. I feel this person is still happily watching you. So if they do approach you in public, they actually know a lot more than they're letting on because this person is a cyber stalker. I'm sorry, but with the page of swords there and the three of swords and the nine of swords, this person is like heavily, heavily invested um, in you. And I do feel like they are watching you. I think this person would try to be um, very much complimentary you know like wheel of fortune and the star like they see you as somebody with a lot of um expansive energy you guys could have jupiter placements very prominent in your birth chart as well a lot of success coming your way someone's name here could start with a t as well this person would compliment your outfit your shoes your hair um if if they know that you're doing something online they would compliment your visibility the thing is, this person um, has a high degree of anxiety, or perhaps you guys are the ones who have a high degree of anxiety regarding this connection, because something happened here where there's been a lot of missing each other. Um, and someone here was incredibly anxious about this connection. Sleepless nights, insomnia, you guys could be dreaming about each other here as well. I'm hearing somebody in this pile say grow up. So I don't know if this person was just very immature, not on your level. It was like you guys were really excelling in your career, in your life, making lifestyle goals, lifestyle changes. This person never could quite match you. I feel like this person um, really highly puts you on a pedestal. So this person has a lot of admiration for you. They could see you doing very well. They're happy for you, but at the same time, they are throwing a little bit of shade here. So I'm getting a little bit of a jealousy um, energy. I also think this person would approach you and ask a lot of questions because we do have a lot of swords here. This person thinks you love to talk about yourself. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. And I mean, hey, I like to talk about myself, but I feel like this person really wants to approach you in that way. But I just feel like this person knows more about you than they're letting on when they see you because they are cyber watching you. I kind of feel like this person would be a bit anxious though. They would kind of have a little bit of a hard time um, formulating their words or what they would want to say. This person has really resisted changing is what I'm hearing. Um, but I feel for this particular group, you guys personally have gone through a lot of shifts and you've done so happily. Tell me more spirit. Karmic claiming territory. This person could have had a third party holding deeds over your head. They would try to buy you something here. Your ex cock blocking, always needing to apologize, okay? Reciprocated feelings. Spending time with family, saying goodbye. Unrequited feelings, okay? Very, very wishy-washy energy. One minute this person likes you, the next minute um, they don't. So this person, for many of you as well, could also be very, very hot and cold. You know, when they see you, they're nice to you one second, and then they switch and they're mean to you the next second. Very, very toxic energy. This person could have left you for a third party. Um, or they could be, be like the karmic person in your life that keeps trying to come back in as well. This person would definitely try to buy you things, buy you drinks, buy you um, dinner. They would try to like send a bottle over to your, to your table or whatever. This person would want to somehow like link themselves to you financially. I do feel like even when you were with this person, this person was very hot and cold towards you, which did create a ton of anxiety for you guys. That's what I'm hearing. This person still hasn't changed their ways. It's like they're still very self-focused. Um, so even what they're saying, I feel like a lot of you guys probably wouldn't trust them very much. 
I do feel like this person never prioritized you. So they will try to pay you a lot of attention to show you like, hey, I'm interested in you. They could even bring up old memories that the two of you did have together. I kind of get like a little bit of a standoffish energy from you guys towards this person. I don't necessarily know if you would be um, that receptive. There's something about this person, like their their words and their actions don't match up. And I think that that really um, irritates you. And even when this person does approach you, you're kind of going to be a little bit on edge because you don't feel like it matches up. I feel like this person would try to like buy you something. So depending on where you are, if you're at a coffee shop, they want to pay for your coffee. Um, this person feels guilty, I'm hearing for some of you, about what, what they did. How they treated you and so they feel like kind of throwing money at it um, is the solution tell me more please about pile two's person how would they um, act if they saw them in public well deserved a reward embrace this person would try to touch you they try to hug you i'm hearing touch your face that's weird for some of you this person could really like to touch your face dedicated effort detach some of you, this person could have um, Aquarius um, placements. I'm hearing Aquarius Moon, Aquarius Venus, Aquarius Mars. Like they really just don't know. Master, challenging times. Seek the truth. For many of you, this person just didn't give you clarity. They didn't um, offer you that clarity that you needed in this connection. So you moved on. Yeah, you have new vitality. Yeah, you guys are really, it's like you've also been shining since you've left this person or since you guys kind of um, went your separate ways. And this person, like I said, because they're watching you, they know that. We have Seek on the bottom of the deck. I feel like this person has been um, trying to figure out a way to get back into your life. Yeah, this person would definitely try to buy something. Um, I feel like like that's like almost their way of saying sorry is like giving you some sort of a physical or tangible item with this master card i really feel like this card always reminds me of a puppet master so this person could be very manipulative of the situation they could want to control the situation they could um be acting like they're a puppet master here like really trying to do whatever they want towards you I do feel like part of you never got a like an ending with this person, like a proper closed off ending. Like some of you are still left really confused about this connection. I think this person would be very persistent as well if they saw you out in public. Like they wouldn't want to be leaving you alone. And again, I do feel like they would touch you or try to touch you like as a form of like um, establishing some sort of contact with you. I think that they would really be focused on that actually. Wow. This person put you guys through a lot. I'm, I'm hearing for some of you that you literally went through their ringer. I'm also hearing S names. So someone here could have an S name. Sarah, Sam, Samuel, Samantha, Sammy, Shauna. Okay. Let's get more. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. What would this person do to pile two if they saw them out in public? Whoa, thank you. Cape Mountain Road, you are on the road to success. Archway, new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. Okay, this particular card for me is a card of marriage. I don't know why, but that's the card I, I assigned for marriage. So this person could have really fantasized about marrying you, or you guys could have talked about marriage at some point. T point, T, T point. <laughs> Teapot, deep relationships with someone of the same sex. Flag, do not be tempted to lower your standards. Boot, increase your effort if you want to achieve your goals. Peace and harmony, younger woman. Dealings or relationships with a younger woman. We have feather. Someone you know is uh, undependable and insincere. Well, isn't that exactly it, right? Like this person, I feel, is very insincere towards you. They're not entirely sure about what they want here. They're not entirely sure of how to go about this connection. I feel this person would be very persistent, but I also kind of feel like you guys, um, like I'm hearing red flag, red flag, red flag. So I kind of feel you guys are going to be like, uh, nope, I'm not interested in this because you are intuitively picking up on this person's, um, like, it just feels like I said, like they're not matching what they're saying doesn't match their actions. For some of you, you could have been younger than this person or they left you for somebody who was younger than you. This person really does want to restore peace. But they're still very, very, like, flip. I keep hearing flip-floppy. Pisces energy coming through. This person could also have Libra placements. 
maybe a lot of people chose this pile because I'm hearing a lot of different signs. I feel like you guys kind of made your peace with this connection. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like you're not really that um, open to this person. I really do feel that. So that is what I have for you today, um, pile two. I hope that that resonated. If it did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps my little um, channel grow. To book a personal reading, uh, that information is also in the description box. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are, and I will talk to you soon. Hi, pile three. If you chose this offering incense, then this is your reading. So you guys, for many of you, um, I received this particular piece within a ancestor box. So for some of you, I do feel the angels really did intervene um, in this connection or your own ancestors could have really stopped this connection from proceeding. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, please tap me into the collective that shows pile number three. Um, thank you so much for your support, your kindness, your accuracy, and your guidance. Okay, let's take a look. So spirit, how would this person react to pile number three if they saw them in public? How would this person react to pile number three? Thank you. King of Cups, okay. How would this person react to pile number three if they saw them in public? Five of Wands. Ace of Pentacles, Page of Cups, okay. How would this person react to pile number three, Two of Cups, okay. The Emperor, Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. <laughs> okay, I just heard from Spirit, fight or flight, fight or flight. So this person could literally probably go into like a freeze if they see you. They might look a little bit like a deer um, trapped in headlights. So for those of you watching, this person could be in Aries, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm also hearing Taurus, Capricorn, specifically rising and moon for those. So, okay. This person does on some level feel like the two of you are soulmates or you have a soul connection. That being said, there's a feeling here of the two of you never quite getting on the same page. This person finds you very, very beautiful, very attractive. I do also feel like if they approached you, they would try to um, approach with something. For instance, if you see this person at a coffee shop, they would approach you with a scone. If you see this person at a bar, they would approach you with a drink. Like this person doesn't feel like they can step up to you empty handed. You guys could have actually very strong Taurus Capricorn or... Um, Virgo placements yourself. This person sees you as very abundant and they kind of feel like you don't mess around. So I do feel like this person feels like they have to come correct or not at all. It's funny because this person, I feel at one point presented themselves to you as the king of cups. So somebody very emotionally mature, balanced with a high EQ. But throughout time, you actually found out that this person was a page of cups. Quite immature, insincere. <laughs> <laughs> annoying. I'm hearing someone here say annoying. Okay, so you could think this person is also annoying. This person, there's something off with their presentation. I feel like they're very eccentric for some of you, but they also did create a lot of competition, conflict, and chaos within your life. So I kind of feel like this person still really would um, try to approach you. I do feel this person would approach you. They might talk very fast or there's a lot of communication this person might not have like a very linear way of connecting things they could have some gemini um in their charts especially gemini mercury somebody's name here could start with a d as well don diane damien dominic dan is that still a name dan daniel daniela this person, I feel like they would really um, try to get your attention multiple ways. I feel like this person kind of doesn't know how to approach you anymore. So I don't know if there's been a, a like time passed, but I feel this person really doesn't feel like they're on the same level as you, which to be very honest, like if they're seeing you as the queen of pentacles or even the king of cups and they're presenting as the page of cups, not on the same level. There also could have been multiple people involved um, in whatever happened in this scenario. As well, this person... They might want to isolate you from the group. They feel a little bit shy approaching you, especially if you're in a group of people. But this person would definitely try to reestablish communication. They might even, oh, I'm hearing trivia. Oh my gosh, I hope this person doesn't approach you with a trivia question. But <laughs> for maybe for some of you, you guys play trivia with this person. 
Tell me more. How would Pile 3's person react if they saw them in public being in the hot seat? This person knows that they have to answer for some bullshit is what I'm hearing. Crocodile tears. Will you marry me? Manifesting spell work. So for some of you, you could have really felt like this was your person. Um, but I feel like they were insincere. Again, with that crocodile tears. Even the king of cups, when he's badly aspected, he can be very manipulative. Looking good for who? Flirting with the ops. This person could um, also try to flirt with people around you to try to get your attention, which I mean, I can't, I cannot possibly think of a worse strategy than that. I want you back. This person still fantasizes about like being with you, like being, be, being with you, being with you, like marrying you. Okay, we have so in love with you, but I, God's gift also came out, so I will take it. Reciprocated feelings. Okay, so this person could have acted like they don't have feelings for you, which is bullshit. They secretly do have lots of feelings for you, um, but they're pretending like they don't. This person could have been very emotionally manipulative to you. I also feel this person caused you a lot of grief. This person knows if they come to you that you're going to ask questions that they don't want to answer. So I feel like this person would really try to steer um, the conversation away from them and onto you. Like this person doesn't want to admit or talk about anything that they've done. This person is a big flirt. So again, they could flirt with people around you. I feel like this person um, will really be scrutinizing or analyzing your um, outfit. They could have uh, like a Virgo placement somewhere because this person will be really focused on like your look. I just keep getting like a lot of in like in <laughs> insecure energy. I feel like this person would really have to try their shot with you because I think you guys are quite um, um, empathic yourself. So you, you might like see right through this person. This person, I feel, um, could have narciss narcissistic tendencies. And I feel like many of you guys have worked so hard on yourselves since leaving this partnership that you're just like not interested. Yeah, it's like you realize that this isn't love. This person could have put you in a third party situation as well. <laughs> uh, I just heard someone in this group say that this person's like good for sex but nothing else. So yeah, if they know that they're good, like that you have a, a sexual chemistry here. Oh my gosh, I just knocked my deck over. Um, I feel like that's the way that they're going to approach you. You know, like they're going to try to see if they could possibly get, like link up with you in that way again. I'm hearing that sneaky link song. So I don't know if some of you are already sleeping with this person or keeping this person um, on, on that level. Challenging times. Seek the truth. <laughs> interesting i just coughed when i pulled that card this person never got to tell you the truth crown chakra teach yeah many of you like your shine far surpasses anything that this person has like the your ability here to offer um a lot to to the people around you this person i feel does just doesn't match your 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 level helpless and hopeless this person could have left you guys in a really poor state seek Moving on, trust. Yeah, I kind of feel like many of you guys are really um, moving into different directions with your life. Like you guys are not interested um, in in this person. We have choose your battles on the bottom of the deck. So this person would really be like, okay, trying to like, like they'll try, they'll try one way, doesn't work. They're gonna try a second way, doesn't work. They're gonna try a third way. Like this person is kind of relentless. I do feel like for many of you, all you really wanted is some truth in this person. You wanted clarity from this person. This person never gave you the basic things that you wanted. You and this person do have quite a strong spiritual connection, though. I do feel there is a psychic link here. So you do feel connected to this person. That being said, I feel many of you were like, you know what? Screw this. Like, this is not ser serving me. And you, you just like moved on. And because of that, you're now in this a lot more of a vibrant energy. And you're attracting a lot of happiness and joy around you. This person sees that and they don't like it. I think many of you have done a lot of work in their work. You, um, I'm even hearing outer work. So someone here could have had like plastic surgery, changed their hair, bought a new wardrobe, um, lost some weight, gained some muscle mass, whatever it is since um, leaving this person. So this person is going to really think that you look good. They know intuitively that you're doing better without them, but still this person is going to come try to come up to you. I feel for many of you though, you just feel this person is like really immature. 
So it's like, I, I feel like from, it's funny because I'm just getting like, you're not, you're not going to have it. I feel like for many of you, this person um, was a major lesson. <laughs> I just heard someone here say, I, I learned it. <laughs> so someone here really does feel like they learned their lesson from this person. And it's not necessarily something that they are wanting to reopen at this time. Wow. Okay. Very interesting. Tell me more. How would Pile Three's person react if they saw them in public? What would they do? Beetle, good fortune. This person knows that they were lucky to have you in their life. They just pretended like they like they didn't. We have Boot. Increase your effort if you want to achieve your goals. This person does feel like they would have to put work in here with you. Lightning, control your anger or you may be sorry. Staff, you'll be taken care of in difficult times. It's too many spirit, but I will take some of them. Funnel, period of frustration, lessons to be learned. What did I just say? Yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. Broom, new home, new attitude. And frying pan, trouble and accusations. Yeah, this person caused nothing for you but a lot of conflicts. And that's one thing I feel this person doesn't want to acknowledge. So even if they were to approach you, they wouldn't be talking about some of the stuff that they've done before. They would just be focused on um, really trying to smooth the situation over, which I feel for many of you simply wouldn't work. There's quite a big feeling of the two of you um, really going separate ways because of you really shining He's really, or this person, he or she, whatever I'm getting, I am getting a strong masculine energy, but this person is really, um, having difficulties since the two of you left. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. That is what I'm getting. I feel this person is really struggling to get their life back in order. Um, and honestly, I kind of feel like they deserve it a little bit because I think this person put you through quite a lot of grief. I do feel like this person could also have a little bit of a temper, which also is something that annoys you about this person. You're not really interested. I feel like many of you are just not interested in this person. I'll be honest. So yeah, this person really knows that they have to come correct or don't come at all. So I kind of feel like this person's attempts towards you would, you know, might not necessarily be successful is really what I'm getting here. So that is what I have for you today, Pile 3. Um, I do hope that that resonated. As always, let me know if you have any questions or comments. To book a personal reading with me, that um, information is down in the description box. I did also want to say here to just thank you so much for being here. Um, it's been such a pleasure. I feel like you guys have really improved a lot since moving away from this person. Um, and I'm sure that we will talk again soon. Have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are. Um, stay blessed and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.